Unit 2A Study Guide. In this unit, here are the concepts that we have covered. So notice that the first two talk about solving equations. One, two, and multi-step equations, and then equations that have variables on both sides. The third concept is setting up ratios and solving proportions. So our big ideas so far are solving equations and proportions. The next concept deals with absolute value equations. And this is where you use the method where you set the equation equal to both a positive or a negative answer and solve. And typically you will get two answers for that. And then finally, we're going to solve equations for a specified variable. This is sometimes called rewriting the equation. And when you solve these equations, you don't get a number answer, but you get an answer in terms of variables. So let's look at numbers 1, 2, and 3. We're solving three equations. So you simply look at your equation and you think, what do I need to do to get the variable by itself? So notice on the first one, 3 is subtracting from the x, so we'll do the opposite to move it to the other side of the equal sign. So if we add 3 to both sides, we get x equals negative 6, and that's our answer. On number 2, there are two things happening to x. 4 is subtracting, and then 5 is dividing. So we'll start with the operation that is the furthest away from x, and we'll undo that subtraction by adding 4 to both sides. And then we'll undo the division, because that's what that 5 means on the bottom of the fraction, and by multiplying. So this becomes 1x, which is what we want, equals negative 15. On the last equation, notice that you've got a parentheses. So that tells us we need to distribute the number in front. Think of that as a negative 2. So negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. Now we want to undo the math that's being done to x. I notice that my 8 and my 10 are on the same side of the equal sign, so I'm going to add those because it's 8 plus 10. And I'll just bring my other terms down. Now what's happening to my variable is 18 is being added, and then negative 6 is multiplying. So I'll start by undoing the operation that's furthest away. So I'll subtract that 18. Bring down my negative 6x equals negative 20. Divide by negative 6. So x equals positive 26. We're going to leave that as an improper fraction, but we're going to put it in simplest terms. Top and bottom can be divided by 2, so that would be 10 thirds.